Hey y'all, I'm Rachel, owner and artist at Stella Rose Boutique here in Greenville, Tennessee. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make my hand dyed and hand stamped baby onesies. You can use this though on all kinds of different fabrics. If you want to do pillowcases, napkins, placemats, table runners, anything that you want to give that personalized touch to. So come with me as I show you how I make my onesies. My water's almost ready. It's almost at the boiling point. So let's go. The water's ready when it just reaches boiling point. We used these products here, this dye and these onesies. We emptied, my son helped me empty the water into both of these glass bowls. And we put an eighth of a teaspoon of each color into each bowl. Then we stirred it so that there was no grit or anything left for everything to be dissolved. Once you get the onesies and you open them up, you need to take your hands and put it all the way through the bottom and open them up so none of the fabric is touching each other. This will help to make sure that it is dyed evenly. I put each onesie in individually so that it's not too crowded. And then I will make sure that it is completely covered, turning it around a few times within a 15 minute time period while it's dying. In between stirring them, I get my ice bath ready for them to go into after they're dyed. When I take them out of their dye, I drain the water off of them. I never let them get wrung out. And then I put them into the water like you see here. And then I let them sit in the ice bath for about 10 minutes. See how all the water's draining out of it? Just like that. And then lay it flat in the water for it to cool off. Doing this helps set the color. I didn't like the pink, so I added a full quarter teaspoon and re-dyed it. Here it is once they've come out of the ice bath. Again, I don't wring them out. I lay them flat on a darker towel, and then I cover it up, and I pat some of the water out gently. I never wring them. Here I'm doing the pink, and you see the difference in the color from the first time to the second time, but they're still not gonna be this dark in the end. Watch till the end and you'll see. I then put them in the dryer, one color at a time, with the towel for it to dry for 30 minutes on high heat. This helps set the color in permanently. Here is the pink after I re-dyed it. Much better. I did the same exact process, patting it down, putting in the dryer individual colors with the towel on 30 minutes, high heat. After they're done drying, I'll take them to the table and I'll put a barrier between the top and the bottom layer for stamping. I've never had the ink bleed through, but I don't wanna take any chances. I'm using IOD ink, and you see here, I always write the name and then put my fingerprint in the ink on the back because black and stone are hard to tell. I'm gonna play around here for a little bit and figure out which way I want my design to look before I commit to it. You see me here struggling with this little stinker, trying to get it up so I can see where I'd like to put it. Now I'm using my mounting board once I have figured out where I want to put everything. And then once I've pushed down and picked up the lettering, I straighten it all out using the grid lines on this amazing mounting board. And you see me here after I've adjusted the way I want the wording. You see me inking it up in black ink. Then I clean up the edges. I decide 
exactly where it's going to be put down and I tickle the letters with the pressure so the ink comes off evenly and voila! I continue the same process until I have my design completely stamped. This is the IOD Birds Blossom and Branches stamp along with the typesetting stamp that I'm using. I also make sure that I wipe down all of my stamps with a baby wipe after I use them. When it's completely done, I take a piece of parchment paper and I use my iron on high and I iron it for three full minutes to set that ink in permanently. This onesie, I accidentally got ink on the little tushy part and you will find it at a special deeply discounted damaged price on my website for all of those lucky viewers that have watched all the way through. You see me here redoing one. I've got the IOD typesetting stamp here and the IOD farm animal stamp. You'll see me here finishing up with the same process as I did with the previous three minutes high heat to set the ink in. You'll find all of the IOD products used in this video, both in my shop in Greenville, Tennessee and online at stellarosboutique.co. And for all of you that waited, I give a free IOD mounting board away with every single stamp purchased, both online and in my shop. If you learned something new from this tutorial and don't wanna miss another, hit that subscribe button and I'll be the first to welcome you to the Stella Rose family. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Thanks for watching.